guys, this is Vivi here. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. The dish I'm going to present today is called Fukuchi Udo. It's a specialty of Yaimiko of the game Genshin Impact. I hope this noodle will bring you the protection of the great Kisune and shall flee the misfortune and abound the fortune. So you will get Yai Miko's Fukuchi Yudo when cooking Yudo using her. The ingredients in game includes flour, which should be used to make the Yudo, seaweed, it should be kombu, which is used for classic Japanese broth. The broth is very mild, mostly for its umami taste, which fits the setting of the dish perfectly in the game. And a fish, it should refer to kamaboko in the picture. It could be understood as a steamed fish cake. Kamaboko always comes in half moon shape or Naruto Maki. Yaimiko's fish cake is in Sakura shape. I don't believe there is a special shape like that, so we have to make our own. And there are not many tutorials or recipes to refer to, so I'm gonna try my best. Then we could see Yaimiko's yudo has one more special ingredient, which is a fried tofu with the fox pattern. In Japan, it is said the foxes love to eat fried tofu. Yaimiko has a huge Huge obsession with it? Well, she is a fox. She talks a lot about her obsession with fried tofu in her stories. Hmm. When she occasionally wants to eat something outside, she would go for the Yashiro Commission girl for her dessert. Is it this? Maybe because of the connection between fox and fried tofu, there is an actual dish in Japan called fox yudon, which is yudon with fried tofu. People also say it's because of the fur of foxes have the same color as fried tofu. Also, more likely guess is, fried tofu has another name, which is pronounced the same as how fox is pronounced in Japanese. Well, let's go back to the topic. Now we settled on the prototype of Yaimiko's special dish for Kuchi Yudo. Now, time to make it happen. I prepared the sakura shape to kamaboko a day before since I don't know how long it's gonna take. I did some searching and I think I could make it using a fish cake recipe. We'll need to make ground fish in two colors first, white and pink. I used a piece of tilapia, cut it into cubes, added salt, sugar, white pepper powder, and meringue for some flavor. I used a blender to blend it until thick. I added some cooking wine to make it thinner and kill some fishy smell. Take half of the mixture out and put it into a piping bag. Add some red yeast rice powder to dye the rest pink. It felt easier to mix it by hand in a bowl now, then also put it into a piping bag. Um, my eyeball for half was totally off. It should be fine, it should be enough to make several sakura shape. Usually, you need to add egg white and starch for better taste and texture of the ground fish, but I like the thickness of the mixture now, and it might cause the fish cake to grow super fluffy when steaming, which might be trouble for shaping, so I skipped those ingredients. It's pretty complicated to draw the sakura freehand, so using a piping bag to trace the lines is a much better idea. But still, it was tricky to draw because the mixture is too thick to squeeze out. You could use plastic wrap to smooth the surface and chopsticks for shaping. It's all about patience. Don't forget to draw some hearts, which look pretty similar to a sakura petal. Next part is easy, just steam for 10 to 15 minutes. You could refrigerate or freeze them and heat up when you are ready to eat. It looks amazing, right? We've spent a lot of time making the very complicated fish cake, so let's go easy on the rest of the dish. We only need one stunt per dish. The broth is a classic Japanese kombu broth. Simmer pieces of kombu for half an hour, turn up the heat, throw in some bonito flakes, and soak for 10 minutes. Add some soy sauce and meringue for taste, and it's done. The fried tofu is easy to deal with. Just boil it in water and take off some oil and bean flavor. To make it a little fancy, we'll boil it with soy sauce, meringue, and some sugar to add more taste. A couple minutes until it gets soft will do just okay. Then we'll need to draw the fox pattern. Squeeze out the liquid and pet dryer, or it'll be difficult to draw anything on. I dip the chopsticks in tonkatsu sauce, which works just fine. Wow, I like the result, not bad. 
The Yudum will go with an easy one. Let's cheat by using a store bought one. It actually comes with silk base, but I still want to show off some skills, so let's use my homemade broth. According to the instructions, we will soak the Yudum in boiling water for 4 minutes. Ta da! We've now got all the ingredients to assemble. Let's do it! Oh, that's so good. Oh. Oh, good. The noodle is very tender. The fish cake here is really delicious, like very fresh. It's not like a normal fish cake you can buy in the market. This is something like handmade and full of love. So from the point of the taste, I'll say it's a very standard udon, but the appearance, the look of the dish, lift it to the next level. Although the udon is a store-bought, but it's still very uh, bouncy and springy. With some chewing, you can taste the scent of the wheat. The broth I made for the udon today is a very standard kung fu udon, so it's on the very mild and plain side but you can still taste the umami flavor inside it. And the fried tofu pocket, it can absorb a lot of broth. It is being fried, so it has some oil inside it. And I wish I boil it with more soy sauce and it can bring more flavor to the whole dish. My favorite part of the dish is the fish cake. It is for sure handmade and it's very different from the store-bought one. Maybe because I made it by myself, so it tastes even better. Alright, that's it for today's video. If you made the dish according to my recipe, or if you have some other recommendations that you want me to try, maybe some recipes from other games, or maybe something that also from Genshin Impact, please comment below and let me know so I can consider if I can make it. Alright, thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys soon in my future videos. Bye!